Hello, I'm Debs. This is Debs. Let this welcome. This is Friday Souls. Welcome if you're new here and welcome back if you an old hand. Thank you to everybody who's liked and subscribed and commented and done all that good stuff on previous videos. I've got a bit of a catch up for you today. I've got some things that I've made. I've got some fabric that I've bought. I've got a couple of patterns, some info about a pattern test and a couple of books. That feels like quite a lot, so we better get started. The first thing I'm going to talk about is uh, what I'm wearing and this, which is the Stasi dress by So Liberated. So this is part of my Me Made May pledge was that I was going to get some of these fabrics that I've had kicking around for years and years and years sewn up. So I've had this for, I think, at least four years, probably six years, I think. Um, and it was always going to be a Stasi dress and I just needed to crack on and do it. So I have done it and I'm pleased with it. Um, I'm just remembering, I don't think I have any pictures of me in it. So uh, you might have to wait for those because everything's a bit complicated today and tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, so this is my Stasi dress. I'm very pleased with it. I've done the shorter length. I've done the short sleeves. Um, I used Maraflex thread, which made it a quicker sew. And it has this really cute little um, kind of peak detail at the front. And I'm quite pleased with my pattern matching. There is a seam there, but um, less, less easy to see it. I don't think it's quite as good on the back seam, but um, I think it's not bad not bad going um yes and i'm liking this i'm hopefully i'll get a picture and if you follow me on instagram you'll be able to see me in it but if not i'll put a picture of me in it next time um i'm wearing the t-shirt underneath my lb textiles pinafore can't remember what the name of the pinafore is anyway I like the pinafore a lot but um i'm wearing the t-shirt that i made because i just wanted to check that the fit of this was okay because i've obviously changed size since i first made it that one was okay i've got a couple less okay ones but i'm going to start with the okay ones we'll start with the start with the good stuff so this one i will also try and get a picture of this is for my daughter this is as i spoke about before the saturday set by the friday pattern company this is the skirt and it's made in that cotton linen no cotton wool blend with these very cute flowers on which is a vintage fabric from the cone exchange which is a thrift shop near where i live in harrogate um it has pockets she's pleased with it it's what she wanted so um i shall try and get her to do me a picture i made for it didn't go so well this is the met uh, with a very cute label in it the met by jennifer lauren handmade which is a tried and true for me and she steals mine so i thought i'd make her her own but with the bust cup cup size appropriate to her size um but she doesn't like it she doesn't like the fact that the arm seems to be a bit bigger now whether it's just because it's a thicker cotton jersey than mine or it's just newer than mine i'm not sure so i'm gonna try and save that i need to try and get her to put it on so that i can work out if i can i don't really want to take top stitched bands off and then put them back on again but i'll see if i can see if i can fandangle something about it um i mean alternatively she can just take it to america with her and wear it she is um i don't know if i said last time so she's going to camp america straight after her last a level and she's going to be staying in connecticut somewhere for um eight weeks i think until she comes back so yes lots of white t-shirts and lots of navy shorts are required so i haven't made all of them but i have made a few third one is another one that I had to do a bit of adjusting on and it still needs some more so I'll put a picture in here on the mannequin because then you'll be able to see what I'm talking about so this is the cashmere club pattern for May which is the briarwood top um, and it comes in a couple of different lengths and you are supposed to put a zip in the side of it now this is like um like a Swiss dot, but it's fairly fine. And I didn't think it would cope with the zip. So I thought I would make it up without the zip and see how it was looking. And it looked okay, but it was quite kind of loose. I definitely could get it on without the zip. Um, so what I did was, in because it was already made up, I added some shearing panels to the side. So I sheared the panels that were already in it. If I was doing it from scratch, I probably would just shear the back. Um, and I think it would work quite well. But I think what I'm going to do, I don't like the ruffle. And I didn't think I was going to like the ruffle when I was constructing it, but I felt like I should probably try. Um, and yeah, no, I don't like the ruffle. So I'm going to take the ruffle off and I'm going to add some length to it. Um, but this is a really nice pattern. I really like the neck length, if I can do this without banging the mic. Um, and it has a seam that sits underneath the boob. But that means that it has to kind of be reasonably fitted. Otherwise, that seam kind of rides up. And actually, I saw in one of their pictures 
that on the model it was lining kind of over a boob rather than under a boob and I thought that was a bit odd but yeah that I can see why now so yeah so not a fail yet and I've still got some more of this fabric so I'm hoping what I'm going to do is to just add kind of probably about that much so about kind of four inches maybe three inches to the bottom have to take the ruffle off and everything obviously um and and in these panels and then and then it'll tuck in um that's what i'm thinking or oh, like just sit straight i should well i could have just done the long one to start with, couldn't I? and then come back to the short one but you know i have to try these things we have to try these things so this is my last cashmere club make uh because i'm going to join closet core i haven't done it yet but i am going to join that final make from the last couple of weeks are these this is a a wearable twirl of the chanterelle pants, the shorts version. So I want to make some chanterelle pants in an art gallery linen. I'll go and grab that in a second. So what I thought I would do is to just twirl the shorts. Um, I like these. They're not, they were a little bit snug. I was kind of in between sizes and I wasn't quite sure what to do. And I think the trousers with the narrow leg on are a closer fit over the hip than the wide leg trousers. So I'm, I went up a size when I cut out the paper pattern for the trousers. They have you do a zigzag to, like, to stitch your elastic down, and I don't, I don't think that's necessary. You kind of stretch in it anyway when you do it, and it's not, it hasn't got to go very far um, to meet the length of the trousers. So I think I probably would just do a straight stitch next time because I think it looks a bit neater, or a, or cheat and do my reflex, obviously. But it has nice pockets um, and a facing. And yeah, they fit nicely. I probably will only wear them kind of for kicking around the house. They're not really my colours, but I just had that piece of um, nice viscose lying about. So I thought I'd do it with that. I'm not sure whether this will show up how nice it is on camera, but this is an Atelier brunette um, cotton linen. So it's kind of lightweight. It's got a bit more movement to it because of the cotton in with the linen. Um, and that's going to be a pair of chanterelle pants, but the ones with the kind of pleated bottom of the leg, I think. Um, I might not. I might do the wide ones, but at the moment that's my plan. And then I will do probably do a pair of the wide ones as well. But yes, so they're they're on the on the table ready to go when I kind of get done with my pan test. So some fabric. So I went to London. I think I talked to you about going to London. We went to London to get the visa for the embassy for the big girl who's going to America. And while I was there. It would have been rude to not go to Fabrics Galore because it was literally 10 minutes, 15 minutes maybe, on the bus from the embassy. So that's the other thing I've been patent testing. So I only I signed up for two. I didn't I don't know why I managed to sign up for two. I've managed to scrangle this. Look at the state of this piece of pattern. Um so this one is finally finished. This has been a long, slow sew, this. Um, and it required a lot of precision and a lot of kind of brain work. Um I mean, it's quite cool. I'm allowed to give you a sneak peek. So I thought what I'll do is to show you the sleeve piece. So this is the sleeve piece. Um, and we're back to pin tucking. I will link, if I can, my video for the Fibre Mood Nina, which had 92 pin tucks in it, which I made last year. So I'm not a stranger to pin tucks. I did pin tucks. But um, yes, this is called the Goffre Blouse. And I think it'll probably be out in the next kind of couple of weeks so keep an eye out for that coming and you'll see my tester version then but yes that's been interesting and meant i haven't really had a lot of time or space to do anything other than kind of concentrate on that this week i'll do a very quick me may may update so i have done three no two bags of my summer clothes i've got half of a bag of the third bag left to kind of properly get a grip to and I and they're because they're things that I I quite like and I'm not quite sure I want to wear them so I think that has to be another category maybe I'll link that video up there but I think there has to be another category of um not this year but I'm going to hold on to them and see how I feel next time I think I've just got a bit of decision fatigue having done so much but I have done some mending there's at least three garments been mended, two of which can be then given on to somebody else. Um, and I have vague thoughts of organising a clothes swap. If you have organised a clothes swap, um, especially involving me maids, would you let me know or message me and, and let me know if you had any issues with it or what things I need to think about? Because I'm kind of, that's vaguely forming as an idea as well. But there you go. So we went to London to the embassy and 
uh, fabric school law is about 10 minutes on the bus from where the embassy is so we deposited the big child at the embassy not allowed to go in with them um clutching all the documents and then uh, myself and our, our 14 year old daughter got on the bus and went to go to fabric school law. i did check she was happy to do that and she was um so i haven't been there before i think i bought from them online but not very often um and i picked up a couple of fabrics while i was there so the first was for me and it is this very cute kind of lightweight cotton with see if I get it the right way around I think that's the right way around it's got these really cute little stripes in it sorry the dog is now outside and he has his ball so if you can hear the squeak I'm really sorry but apparently it's either wine inside or squeak outside so it has these really so it's got like a, a pink a turquoise a neon pink and a yellow stripe in it so not really my colors at all but I just really liked I picked it up I put it down several times and then just decided to get it and I think that's going to be a shirt um I think that probably make the most sense of it um and then it'll read kind of pale but it perhaps won't be as um as vulnerable to staining as my white blouses which have to keep being green bleached and hung out in the sunshine because i spill things down them the second fabric i got from fabrics galore was this which is very cute isn't it oh and actually would work for the so fruity blossom sandwich has got a so fruity challenge and i was thinking yesterday i didn't have any fruity fabric at all but i have this it's not for me though this is said middle child's um request and actually she wanted a pair of jamas but this fabric when he came to cut it out had got a few marks on it so he gave me extra to kind of um to allow for the marks and actually the marks have come out on washing so I'm very pleased. What she wants now with this, she changed her mind, and what she wants instead of jamas, which would have been very easy, um, is a pattern scout joni, I think it's called. It's a kind of like um, peasant style blouse. She wants one with long sleeves and a shorter skirt, and so we're ready to do that. I think we're going to do that together, so I'll let you know how we get on. So if you've made that, will you comment down below and let me know how you did with it because that's one that I haven't made before although I have made some of the pattern scout patterns the birdie black button up is a really nice one of hers now we do have two other pieces of fabric now one um only arrived this morning so I'll show you that first and then I'll show you the other one two ticks so I have two pieces of this the other one's over there this came from Bornella Fabrics it hasn't been washed yet and um, you can see it's literally just coming out of the box look at this so this is a four point three i think ounce or 4.8 4.3 i think ounce tensile like a denim chambray so you can see look at the drape on that how nice is that so in my head this i've got four and a little bit meters of this um and i think this is going to be a pair of winslows and a gilbert blouse or the puff sleeve version of the eve that i've done recently Try and put a picture up there. So I kind of want it, yeah, like a kind of faux jumpsuit, but because it's kind of got that lovely movement, I thought that would be really nice. So they had a little reduction on. I, I, if it's still on, I'll link it down below. But I'm not sure whether it's still is, but I think it was twenty percent off. So I kind of I'd been eyeing up that for about a month, and I just jumped in and got it. And the last fabric I have is a birthday fabric. So it was my birthday. Um, at the end of last month and I went and did a workshop for my birthday which was really nice I really enjoyed it and I shall show what I did at the workshop but this is what so my husband bless me tries very hard to get me the things that I actually want so he bought me some nanny Eero fabric I hope you can, can you just see that peeking through the problem is my darlings that what he bought me was this much nanny Eero fabric so he bought me half a meter um and it is very lovely, but he also bought me the pattern I asked for, which was the Jenna shirt. Now, I just thought I couldn't justify buying for myself another shirt pattern. But because people had talked about like the finishings and the way it was done, I kind of wanted to see. So I have treated, I've been treated to a proper paper pattern. How rarely does that happen? Um, and he's also got me another couple of metres of this. Let me just get it and then I'll show you. 
So this also hasn't been washed. It's obviously narrow because it's Nanny Eero, but look at that. Isn't it so beautiful? And with those, it's going to look really nice with my lovely, um, well, with both those are the things that I've talked about making, actually, with the cobalt coloured uh, trousers and with the two piece. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that and I'm, I'm doing a bit of stripe play, but obviously I shall do a twirl one of it first of all because it's a closet course. So I'll just make sure I've got my shoulders right. So, yes, that's all my fabric. I think there's probably another one sitting somewhere, you know, something like So I had been being really good and then I've had a little bit of a, yeah, a little bit of an acquisitions phase, but not too many. I have another pattern. Um, I'll try and put the line art in, but I put, talked about these last time. These are the Oxbow pants by um, Soho 7. I've been waiting for these to come out. I have got them on Patternsy paper. If you haven't seen Patternsy paper, it's like that. So it's proper fine, like old school pattern paper, um, but not, it's much, it feels more robust to me. I really like it. And they are so quick. Normally you get it within a couple of days of putting your order in. And they're really good at printing. They've just printed me one size that I've asked for, which I find makes it much, much easier. Um, yeah, really like them. The other pattern that's floating about is this. So I ordered this and I probably will do a proper little review on this, but this is the pattern pages, which is a new printed on new, say new, I don't know what edition it is actually. Uh, issue 38, so not new <laughs> at all, only new to me. Um, I'd never seen it before and I just thought it might be quite nice. And it has, um, has this little A-line skirt with a zip up the front. The pattern for that is included in, in white, good quality paper. Um, yeah, so I might get to that. I might do that. That's quite cute. Um, but I just kind of wanted to see and it's, and it, yeah, so I'll, I'll probably do a proper review on that. If you've been subscribed for longer, would you let me know how you find it? Because obviously it's kind of tricky to know just on one. Um, I think it was, was it £12? I think it was £12, but I think you maybe pay for postage as well. So it is like on the more expensive end, but probably like equivalent to Fibre Mood and things. But obviously when you buy Fibre Mood, you get like eight patterns or ten patterns or something. So yes, that one I'm trying out. And this is from my workshop. So I went to a book binding workshop where you learn how to make a book. How exciting is that? So she had the papers. We chose the papers and the edging and the inner leaf colour and so I kind of had to because there was only certain papers I had to kind of find one that worked and then it had got it's got pages it's blank pages inside so um yeah that was um at Barsley where they filmed the sewing bee it's called I've forgotten its name anyway <laughs> Sunnybank Sunnybank Mills so we went to a like it was 10 while three or something um and I went with my lovely friend, Catherine, uh, who's not on Instagram, so I can't tag her. Uh, but we, yeah, we had a really nice time and really enjoyed doing something a bit different that was creative. Because um, we all have a notebook, don't we? So that's, yeah, another string to my bow. My only other two acquisitions. Sorry, I feel a bit like I've flown through these, but it's kind of, I've got a really narrow window to record and edit. And I'm not sure how much editing I'll get to do. So if there's lots of ums and ers in it, I'm really sorry. But I just, you know... You're going to have to get what you get at the moment. I'm sorry. Uh, you can tell I've got the ring light on. I'm just trying to squeeze it in. So I've got a couple of new books. So one is Joyful Mending um, and the other is Visible Creative Mending. So that's a knitwear one. Um, so, yeah, I'll do a little review when I've kind of gone through those. But I've started to help out at a kind of craft coffee morning type thing for lots of different generations. So little kids come and everybody through to I think the oldest person comes to about 90 so yes lots of people come and there's often a craft and I've been asked if I would do a craft so what I'm doing is some um mending and refashioning tips this week so I shall let you know how that goes so there you go that's a whistle stops tour through the things that have been happening since I was last here once more I have not looked up the Friday sews question so I'm really sorry but I am very thankful that Friday Sews exists as a tag and I'm very grateful for you if you found me through that Friday Sews tag so go and have a look at some of the other people about. So I think that'll do us thank you ever so much for popping along let me know what looked interesting to you or any thoughts you've got about any of those fabrics and what I should be doing with them and um, let me know what you've been making have you had any I mean I've already had a couple of like misses near misses semi-catastrophe things going on um 
but I'm kind of I think I'm getting a bit better at like not taking it all to heart I think you know sometimes things don't work and you need to like struggle a little bit and think outside the box a little bit to get those those solutions found so yeah I hope wherever you are in the world you are finding time to rest and replenish and do some making if that's something that brings you joy and I shall see you again soon bye bye for now